This video is an update to the calibration video I, I posted and in that video I talked about um, manually calibrating the AD8307. So I'd like to just go through that in this video. In the prior calibration video we used the XG3 to generate two known signal levels and we had the SNA calculate the slope and in intercept. So here it's actually showing the results of that calculation here. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to go through the process of actually changing uh, these values. So the way that you could change and manually enter a slope and intercept is that you would cursor over to the calc using the select button and instead of using calc for calculation you'd use enter. So now, if you were to execute, it's going to use these values and it's not going to perform a, cal a calculation. So we can cursor over to the actual slope value and we could change the slope value with the rotary encoder. Now, one interesting note is that if you push the rotary encoder, you're able to change it by 1, by 10, or you could even go down to change it by 0 .001. So here you would define what your slope and intercept is and you would hit execute. Then the SNA will take these values and use that as your calibration. Here's a spreadsheet I used to calculate the slope and intercept for the, uh, the SNA calibration. So for example here uh, I took a whole bunch of different sources. I used my XG3, my MFJ, uh, the SI5351, a DDS that I had, and as well I put uh, different at levels of uh, attenuation in to get various uh, readings. And the voltage I got here was I used the data port on the SNA to get those uh, values. I'll post a subsequent video uh, describing how you can use the, um, the data port and you can manually enter commands. So those values, if I was to plot those values, you'd see them here in orange or it might be showing up in red in this video, but you'll see the values there and you'll see they're not quite in a straight line. The green line is the fitted line. It's a line of best fit with the minimum amount of error between uh, the points. So the slope and intercept of that line could be used to calibrate the SNA. Now in Excel or in um, OpenOffice there are uh, routines which allow you to do a least squares fit and it'll give you the slope and intercept. But in this case I actually manually went and I calculated it using formulas and the result of that calculation is over here. So there's my slope and in intercept and if I convert it to numbers which the the SNA is going to use it's right there. So those would be the numbers that I would go and enter in as my slope and intercept for the manual calibration of the uh, 8307. So here's an example of how I took a reading for um, another device which generates a uh, signal level. So here I'm using my MFJ uh, antenna analyzer and you can see it's putting out approximately a 2 megahertz signal and uh, I've got that connected via BNC cable going to my scope and it's connected to a T connector which is connected to a BNC uh, terminator. On my scope, I have got my probe um, attenuation set to 1x because I don't have a 10x probe. It's just a coax cable and my impedance is set to 1 mega ohm. So now if I go and I turn on my MFJ analyzer, so it starts generating a signal. So it's actually generating a signal there. It's coming out. There's a signal on my scope. And if I 
clear my sweep, you'll see here it's telling me the, the number of counts it's taken and it's telling me the average, the mean, uh, peak to peak value. So I'm going to let that run for, you know, uh, to get a really good average. It's only 34. So I'm going to let it run a couple of times and we'll come back and see what it says. So it's been running for it, a couple hundred samples now. So it's taken at uh, well, well over 200 uh, uh, samples. And uh, it's telling me my average uh, frequency is 2 megahertz. And the average peak to peak value is 1.3 volts. So I can't take that peak to peak value we got and use you know an equation to uh, to find out what the DBM uh, reading is, but I use the Cortec calculator here at this website, and it's fairly easy to use. Uh, all you do you enter in the uh, peak to peak voltage, and then you hit calculate, and it uh, spits out the DBM reading. So here it's saying that it's uh, 6.2. Uh, DBM, so that's my power level for the MFJ. So there, I've, that's one point I can use to go and uh, manually calculate the slope and intercept. So what I did, I did this for several other devices, but I just thought I'd just show you how I uh, did it for one device.